You know that 100 million Americans have vitamin D deficiency. Think about it. 100 million of us, including children. And experts say it could be critical in American health. Dr. Mehmet Oz is here to change that deficiency one viewer <laughs> at a time. Of course, he is the host of the Dr. Oz Show. It's so good to have you back well, with thank us. Thank you much. This vitamin is more and more implicated, as we said, in American health. Well, vitamin D, if I had to pick one vitamin to push to everybody to think about again in their lives, it's vitamin D. It actually becomes a hormone in our body. And it's just important, not just for bone health, which is where most people think vitamin D is important, right. but it's important for high blood pressure. It's important for cancer, you know, breast, colon, prostate. And you know what? If you're worried about the swine flu today, take some vitamin D because it's one of the best ways of enhancing your immune system. No kidding. Overall, it is. Uh, all right. I, I think you want to do a test. I do. And but I'm going to tell you a little bit about me. You've seen my results. <laughs> so. His eyes were startled. But <laughs> go ahead. Let's ask the audience. How many of you know what your vitamin D level is? Put your hands up. Uh, Look at that. All right, now, here's the second question. How many of you think the best way of getting vitamin D is through milk or dairy products? Put, put up that little card that shows milk and dairy. All right. Now, how many of you think that, in fact, it's, it's through cod liver and fish and other sources like that? All right. A couple of, <laughs> couple of brave souls there. And how many think it's the sun? Put the sun up. All right. So I'll tell you what. I think actually most of you got it right, because I think it's the sun. So let me give you the numbers you want to aim for. And by the way, you don't know your vitamin D level unless you check it. So and the, you check it by a blood test. Simple to do, easily acceptable. Vitamin D is stored as something called 25 vitamin D. Uh -huh. So you check that level, and your number one, it should be above 50. Uh -huh. If it's between 30 and 50, you're not terribly deficient, but we usually try to supplement you. If you're below 30, you're way off the scale. Diane, what was your number? 15. Did you hear that? 15. It was 15 a few years ago, and my doctor, my wonderful doctor, tested it just on her own, yeah. by instinct, and, and put me on supplements, which you'll talk about in a minute. Well, like, like a lot of physicians, she very wisely is, is, is starting to follow up on our patients because the vitamin D levels are almost always low. I would bet you that 60% of people who are watching the show right now and can see my face have deficient vitamin D levels, and if you're dark-skinned or you're overweight... I can almost guarantee you, unless you're taking some type of supplement, because you know, vitamin D. Wait, why? Because vitamin D is fat soluble. So the fat sucks it up, takes it out of the system. Oh, I see. And so for a lot of people, they don't recognize it. Let me show you a quick animation to show uh -huh. you why the sun is actually the best way of getting those numbers. Okay. And if you're in the sun for 15 minutes, Diane, you'll get about 10,000 units. So as I run this animation, you'll see that what happens is that melon, the little bit of, of uh, pigment, the bottom of the skin, begins to get released as you see more sun. And that little molecule that you saw at the very beginning, that was vitamin indeed being converted. So the sun rays hit us, mm -hmm. converts the, the cholesterol in our body to vitamin D. That's why in the winter months, uh -huh. starting from right about now, our cholesterol numbers go up. Now, vitamin D was profoundly important to the history of medicine. Sanitariums, why did they evolve? They evolved because they knew that sunlight killed tuberculosis. And our moms used to give us cod liver oil mm -hmm. because, in fact, that works. And get this, the reason our skin color is different is primarily about regulating vitamin D because the darker your skin, the less you have sun damage and you, you still get enough vitamin D to give you what you needed from the sun rays. So as you travel the globe, the differences in skin color are about the amount of vitamin D people are getting yeah. through the sun. And I love when we can figure that all out. Now, what are the sources? Milk, mm -hmm. reasonable source, but it's not the right kind of vitamin D. Even the vitamin D supplemented milk is not the right kind necessarily. Well, it's, it's the vegetarian vitamin D too, and you want the animal version, which is what we need in our bodies. You can convert them. It's not that efficient. It's certainly a reasonable way of getting it, but it's probably not the best way of getting it. Mm -hmm. The sun, again, is the best way of getting it. And just to be clear on this, you want about 10 minutes to 15 minutes of direct sunlight when the shadow that you cast is shorter than you. So the sun has to be high enough above you that you're getting it. Put sunblock on your face and your hands. You don't want a lot more than that, but you want that much sun to convert. If you're dark skinned, you need about an hour. Yeah. An hour yeah. if you're dark skinned? Yes. And can I show you okay. something? We have a map actually of America. In this map, you've got a line that goes from Atlanta to Los Angeles. And that map is pretty impressive because what it really is showing us is that if you live north of that line, you are not getting enough vitamin D from now until the spring. 
Hmm. Because you're not going out enough of the time when the sun rays are high. Even more reason to go get it checked and see if you need supplements. Okay, fish, pretty good source? Fish are a reasonable source. You need this much fish to get the minimum amount that you need in a day. So uh -huh. most Americans aren't going to eat five sardines. So I would suggest getting cod liver oil if you want to take it that way. Uh -huh. In fact, that's what we're going to challenge you to today, whether you're willing to take your cod liver oil. I'll take my cod liver oil. <laughs> okay. Hey. hey. Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> I've forgotten. It's been years. Oh, God. And one last little tip. Uh, you know, we always talk about a multivitamin. You look unhappy. <laughs> Uh, so the problem with multivitamins is they usually only have 400 units of vitamin D. You're still grimacing, God bless you. <laughs> but you want to take at least 1,000 <laughs> units of vitamin D. And so ideally what you'll do is take your regular multivitamin and then supplant it with either cod liver oil, um, some sunlight, or uh -huh. take an extra 1,000 units a day. And, you know, you take 10,000 units a week which I is do. more than the minimum. My father-in-law actually has to take 5,000 a day to get to his adequate level. So everyone out there listening, you gotta know that you're low, treat it, and then double check to make sure it's enough. Double check with your doctor because yes. you don't wanna get too much. No. You, you don't want too much. 10,000 a day becomes a, a number that gets me very nervous. Uh -huh. But here's the deal, if you take 50 times the amount of water that you should drink a day, you'll die faster than if you take 50 times the amount of vitamin D. Oh, so right. it's not a dangerous vitamin, and it's naturally found in our body. Okay, check with your doctor. It is essential, and thank you, I think. <laughs> and it's on our website, abcnews.com. Anybody got chewing gum? <laughs>